Welcome to today's reading from Our Daily Bread. I'm Amy Boucher-Pie, and I called it A Refreshing Oasis. When Andrew and his family went on safari in Kenya, they had the pleasure of watching a variety of animals frequenting a small lake that appeared in the scrabbly landscape. Giraffes, wildebeests, hippopotamuses, and waterfowl all traveled to this life-giving source of water. As Andrew observed their comings and goings, he thought how the Bible is like a divine watering hole. Not only is it a source of guidance and wisdom, but it's a refreshing oasis where people from all walks of life can quench their thirst. Andrew's observation echoed the psalmist who called people blessed when they delight in and meditate on God's law, a term used in the Old Testament to describe his instruction and commandments. Those who meditate on the scriptures are like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season. Just as a tree's roots reach down to the soil to find the source of refreshment, people who believe in and love God will root themselves deeply in scripture and find the strength they need. Submitting ourselves to God's wisdom will keep our foundations embedded in Him. We won't be like chaff that the wind blows away. When we ponder what God has given to us in the Bible, we gain nourishment that can lead to our bearing fruit that lasts. The scripture reading I selected for today is Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Let's pray. Loving God, you've given us the amazing gift of your words in the Bible. Help us to treasure them with gratitude and with wonder and to live them out day by day. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.